Hello, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm so excited to have Robin from Working In on here. And today we're going to focus on healthcare. So, people in the healthcare industry. So, if you are a doctor, a nurse, a dentist, a physical therapist, anything in the healthcare, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the possibility and the pathway for you to move to New Zealand. Um, and so I'm just excited to have Robin on here. If you aren't familiar, um, I partnered with working in, uh, in terms of like doing the visa and the job side of things. So once you come into my community, we can get you sorted with them and they're great. And, um, they're just an extension of the service and they're fantastic. So welcome Robin. I'm so excited to have you on here. Oh, thank you. I'm excited to be on here, Tara. It's a great opportunity to have a chat with your community um, and to give some insight into the big move to New Zealand. Yeah. So um, so if you guys don't know, like I just like to review this because I feel like I have a broken record because people always ask, like, I don't know what to do. And I and I and I'm me and Paul from working in are consistently want, meeting Americans that are like, I've just sold my house, my car, I'm ready to move, and they haven't even thought about the visa side. I actually met with people earlier that were um they're like, Oh yeah, we're moving next week, and they've just started talking about this. So like there's like understanding the process is important. And so just so you know, like you can't just go to New Zealand and work without a visa and there's and the visas are tied to jobs now. And so you have to get jobs with an accredited employer and it's a whole thing and it's a little bit more complicated than it used to be. And so this is why the partnership exists. So um when you you come into my community, I can help you with everything, get you, you know, prepared for your move and everything and then working in does the job and the visa. And then they also have this amazing relocation service. You can see that video as well. Um, that just kind of helps you get everything sorted before you actually arrive in the country. So today let's talk about like healthcare and that whole industry. So if someone is going to come, what is the process? Like just talk me through like the general process, or if you want to focus on specific industry, that's fine. Like what is the yeah. most common? Okay, well, let's start off just from a general perspective. So if okay. you're a healthcare professional um, in the United States looking to move to New Zealand, the first thing you need to do is um, hop onto the internet and look up the, the board relevant to your profession. For example, if you're a nurse, you need to look up the New Zealand Nursing Council and they each council, whether it's um, for physical therapists, which we call physiotherapists yeah. here, other than... Um, so you hop onto the council um, internet, onto their website, and they will have a, a specific tab under international nurses, international physios, international doctors wishing to move to New Zealand. Um, and follow that pathway, you'll click on a link and it will tell you exactly what you need to do in order to register. Mm. Now, most of the health professionals will need to have documents verified within their process. Um, so they all do that slightly differently, but it will give you a step-by-step -step process of how you need to do that. Um, and that is really the first step, is to, okay. to sort out um, how you are going to get your New Zealand registration. So this you is a board website in New Zealand for yes. whatever industry you're in okay totally yes so okay. if you're a, a dentist nurse physio um, occupational therapist they've all got their own boards or councils mm. um so you can go on there and they will specifically tell you exactly what's required and what information you will need to submit in order to get your new zealand registration um, it's important to note you don't have to finish the registration before you start the other parts of the process that you just mentioned before, mm. Tara. Okay. So uh, you can start your registration and then you can be in, in touch with us in regards to getting sorted in, um, on a job, so what we call the job search. And at the same time, you can also be talking with our visa team um, and getting all your documents ready for your visa. So we do encourage if you're motivated to move, to start those things and have them all running along nicely together mm -hmm. so that the, the journey or the process doesn't take too long. Yeah, that's, that's good. And I, I just know people are curious. So like how long is the process generally running? Depends um, on which profession you are. Yeah, for example, true. for nurses, um, it can be quite long. You need to get your documents verified through um, a, an agency who are actually based in Philadelphia, strangely mm. enough. Mm. Um, so 
the New Zealand Nursing Council outsource their verification to that company in Philadelphia. So you have to put all your documentation in there. That can take between two to five months, depending oh, okay. on how quickly you get the information in and whether or not you need to source further information. Then that report go comes to the council in New Zealand and they take between three to five months for the registration to come through. We can expedite that once you have a job offer. We can bring your your file to the top of the pile and say, we, we, we have Jane, oh. she's got a job that's starting in December. We need her registration to be looked at straight away. And that, that usually works. So, okay. and then okay. obviously you need that job, signed job offer in order to apply for your visa. Um, so okay. yeah, it's, it's getting everything in place so that you can keep moving to the time frame. But I, I think it's probably realistic if you're a candidate looking to come to New Zealand to think sort of if you haven't started the registration, you want you probably your minimum time to get here would be six months. Yeah. But that's fast, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, I mean, it used yeah. to take a really long time. Like it was just that you were yes. used to being, I was in a pool and you never knew when you're going to get pulled out. It could be a year, you know? Yeah. So I just feel like things are moving a lot quicker than it used to. So basically people come in, they, they work on their registration and then they get in contact with you guys and we start the other process. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So once you have started your registration, um, I mean, you can be in touch with us beforehand. We're more than happy to hear from you. That's no okay. problems. Sure. But, you know, we will be saying do start your registration. Once you've started your registration, that shows obviously our employers that we're dealing with that you're motivated to move. Uh, so it, it, it indicates that they're prepared to put the time in to organise interviews, um, which you can do via Zoom or Teams. Um, so yeah, that, that's the crucial tip to get going, I think. Get mm -hmm. the registration started, come and talk to us, and then we can talk you through the job process. You'd have an interview with myself where I can make sure that I know exactly what your pathway is and what you're thinking in regards to timeframes, you know, do you have other commitments and with your current job for when you can resign? All those sorts of things so that we've got a plan in place for you to get things moving on the job search. We don't usually sort of touch base with clients or employers um, in regards to our candidates until it's sort of within that six month window. Mm -hmm. So okay. if you're hoping to be here um, by early 2025 now would be the time we'd be reaching out to employers. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Are there certain, in, there's certain healthcare, <clears throat> excuse me, jobs that are more in demand right now than others? Yeah. And in, reg in regards to specifically the United States, yeah. nurse <clears throat> practitioners are in high demand and oh, especially okay. from the United States. And the reason why that is, is that that the training is comparable in the United States to New Zealand for nurse practitioners. Oh, okay. So you can actually start as a nurse practitioner here, whereas if you're coming from the UK, their training's not comparable and they actually have to do further training when they get here. So nurse practitioners are gold. Um, midwives are also high in demand. The only thing to note um, for the US is that you can't, the training isn't comparable, so there would be extra training required here. So you can work in a labour and delivery ward, but you wouldn't be able to do your full scope of practice okay. as you have been doing. Um, but yes, any nurses with specialty skills, um, physical therapists in high oh. demand. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Occupational therapists. Yeah, so anyone, we actually have um, on Immigration New Zealand have what we call a green list. And yeah. on the green list, all the health professions that are on that, that you can access on the Immigration New Zealand website, mm -hmm. um, all of those are, are what New Zealand are needing okay. at this stage. So if you've, you're experienced, um, we definitely want to talk to you and, and you're interested in making the move. Okay, cool. Okay, so people do the registration, then they meet with you, and then they start this process. I also noticed that on the working in web page for healthcare, there's like all jobs, like you can just like directly apply for jobs from your website. You can. So those those are out in regards to what we're looking for mostly at the moment. So you can, uh, okay. and that will come through to us. Um, and then we will direct you in regards to the employers from there. 
Oh, the employers from there. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you have relationships with the employers and we do. Okay. So we've got relationships with the public health employer, which is obviously own mm. Health New Zealand, which owns all the public hospitals. Mm. Um, we also have many relationships with private hospitals here, along with clinics as well. So for physical therapists, for example, with individually privately owned smaller clinics, um, ones that have got networks throughout New Zealand. Um, so yeah, mm. we've got lots oh, of great, great clients Yeah, that really yeah, value that's what's great. international that's what, experience. Yeah, that's been my experience with the healthcare clients that I have, or even other industries as well, like this, just, you know, working in has so many great relationships because they do a lot of the accreditations with employers and things can move a lot quicker because, you know, um, there's networking that's happening. So that's really cool. So I'll link all of those um, websites down below in the description for you guys, if you want to just go check it out and kind of look at jobs and probably just no matter when you're watching this video, like the jobs that they're looking for are probably going to be on that site. So you can get a good sense if there's a demand other than checking yeah. the list, of course. So, yes. so that's cool. So, um, is there like a limit to the amount of healthcare? Is it, is it just like, they're just looking for a lot of people? Cause I know like they're looking for a lot of teachers right now, but there's not like, it's not going to like last forever kind of thing, you know? Yeah, um, I think there is a, a worldwide demand for healthcare workers. Yeah, true. Fair. So um, it's sort of every so people are moving all the time, and there's there's um, gaps, you know, internationally. So yeah. there will always be a demand for yeah. highly okay. skilled um, healthcare workers. At the moment, you know, things change all the time in regards to sort of twelve months ago, there was a real demand for any nurse. But now mm. it's more specialized nurses. So if you've oh, got okay. if you have a specialty and also obviously the nurse practitioners that we mentioned, you know, it, it does go in ebbs and flows, but I think there will always be a demand for especially frontline health workers. Yeah, because I've heard that because I've had clients years ago, they're like saying, Oh, they're not really looking for us, and then now they are, you know. So because New Zealand, you guys gotta keep in mind that there's those five million people there. So, you know, like there's 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 probably some sort of limit, you know, in your particular industry. So like it may be the time, like if you're really considering it, this may be the time to really look at doing it, um, because there's a demand right now. Um, and it yes. may not always be there. So yeah, so that's cool. So yeah, and, I, and oh, ahead. sorry, Tara, but um, in regards to working in the healthcare industry here, I know from the the you know people that we've already placed from the United States, they've all said you know, for example, Terry, um, yeah, Terry yeah. how great it is and how they really enjoy the healthcare system. She's working in the public system, um, but she's finding it a breath of fresh air. The change, obviously, lots of differences too, but she's really enjoying the change. So, um, I from you know the main sort of points are not as not as hard, worked as hard as perhaps people are sometimes in the health profession in the US. Mm -hmm. um, so that the, the, um, they have shorter times. They're working eight hours often rather than twelve hour shifts. The breaks you can actually have a break. Um, so I think you know there's some real benefits to that if you're wanting a change of lifestyle obviously um but also a change of pace in regards to work mm, yeah no that's true i will link uh terry's video up here if you want to watch that it was very good she just she's newer to new zealand and um was part of my community and she's like i just want to tell people like what it was like <laughs> because you know it's a lot different like she found like the the um the medicines were different. The verbiage was different, but um, just loving it. She's just like loving it. And you'll hear that in her voice and talking about it. And I've, I've helped plenty of doctors and nurses that I probably just talked to personally that, you know, would have been nice to have a recording of like their experience yes. too. Um, but yeah. And, and the healthcare industry is still busy there. You know, it's, you know, totally. I'm finding, I know some doctors that I've moved are like, yeah, well, we're still working a lot, you know? but the lifestyle is so different. The value system is so different. The, the way that they value the fact that you should have time off, that you should have a break, you know, like it's just that it's just a different culture and a yes. different way of looking at things. It, like work doesn't trump everything. Um, and so, yeah. So I talk to a lot of people because they're just so like, give me out of the U.S. Like I'm working like crazy. And, you know, because you go into the industry to help people and you love that. 
And you just didn't know that you had to kind of beat yourself up in order to do that. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's hard. Um, so that's great. I, another, I, just, another, I was just thinking another yeah. question that we've had with the people we've placed so far from the United States. We have a lot of questions about once they get their job offer um, about their own personal health insurance and things like that. Oh, and the, yes, yes. Yeah, it being so different to the way our health public health model is set up mm -hmm. in comparison to the US. Um, so we can also help talk you through that too and and. Jane, who I work alongside, we're putting a document together about what the differences are um, for when those job offers come through and, you know, the fact that you don't have to have as much personal health insurance and that you, right. you, you, know, you can go to rock up to the hospital and you won't be sent a huge bill, um, things like that, you know, getting your head around all those finer things, we can, we can, can help you with that too. Yeah, no, that's a really, really good point. I was just talking with somebody about that and it was just, yeah. It, and just to give you guys some idea, like a family of six, I paid $60 a month for private health insurance in New Zealand. Like it's, it's important for you to hear that number because you don't understand that number, <laughs> you know, yeah. cause I, um, being recently moved back to the U S and just, uh, you know, getting insurance through my husband's job and looking at the numbers is like shocking. <laughs> You know, and that barely covers anything. And it's, you know, you still have to pay once you get there and you're just like, holy cow. So it is, it's, it was so nice to have that. Like my daughter had surgery. My son went into the hospital one night and like, he just walks out with a piece of paper and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> it's amazing. It was just like amazing to not have, you don't realize how much stress that creates in your life to not just, you know, like and so many people, unfortunately, in the U.S. actually have to do jobs that they don't like doing just so they have insurance, right? And yes. it's just, it's so backwards, you know. So and I think oh, it might have been me, Terry, who said this to me. The, the patients that you deal with, it's refreshing because she said some of those people in the U.S. wouldn't come to the hospital. Yeah. They just wouldn't they would. come. So she feels it's great that it's available, that health care system means it's available for all. Mm. And so you get to help everybody and, and people that are perhaps really in need of help. So um, she That's finds a really that good point. Mm. That's a really good point. It's true. Yeah. Like even here, like even since I've been back, um, you know, um, like an emergency happened at a place where my daughter was babysitting and she was like, I don't know, can I call the ambulance? How much is it going to be? You know? <laughs> because you're, we're already switched on to that. And like, that would be an outrageous thought. Like when I've talked to people about how much I've had to pay for having my children, 30,000, 20,000, you know, they're like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Paying to have a child is absurd in a lot of countries. So, um, yeah, it's just totally different. And you're right. It's really nice that it's just available to everybody. Um, and, and it's good. I've, I've yeah. had nothing but good experience. And if you want to go to a private hospital, you just have to have insurance and it's not that expensive. <laughs> so it's just, just, it's a whole different world. So, um, yeah, so it's great. And I think that if you're thinking about moving to New Zealand and you're a healthcare worker, you know, I think that this is the time. I think that if it's, it's a great opportunity for you to take the leap and try it. And, and you'll hear from so many people, you know, I was coming for a year, I was coming for two years and now it's been 13, <laughs> you know, so like go check it out, have an experience. Um, and I think it'll be great. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post up, put the comments below and just, you know, I'm happy to help and Robin can help and anything. Likewise. I don't know if she can help. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. And I'll put the links to the website and you can check out the jobs and you can, um, submit your CV if you want to be considered for that. And, um, but start with your registration. If oh, I've got one. I just remember one yeah, thing yeah. about these that's different. We've noticed um, often, I think in the US, it's just a one page. For health CVs, we need more than one page. We need to know the specifics, for mm. example, of what wards you've worked in if, if you're a nurse um, mm -hmm. or if you're in theatre, what sort of operations you've been involved in. So um, we've just... It, We've just noticed that quite a few of us. Oh, we're we've always been told just to have a one page for health. Oh, work. okay. Work. So feel free. I mean, we don't want six or seven pages, um, <laughs> but yeah, we do need those specifics about 
each of the responsibilities of each of your role because the employers here will want to know exactly where your experience lies. So that's a really good good thing to note. Oh yeah, that's really good. Yeah. So yeah. definitely, you know, get get registered and talk to Robin before you start applying for jobs and make make sure that your CV is up to par and that, you know, you have the information that they're looking for because it's a different place. And so yeah. It is a different place. And I guess the advantage, Tara, for using um, someone such as ourselves working in for um, when you say, you know, applying for jobs is if you use us as you, there's no cost for you to use us from a recruitment point of view um, to you as a candidate. And the advantage for you is that your um, profile gets brought to the top of top of the pile because we're talking with the key recruiters at these employers. So versus just applying online and being a name and a big bunch of of CVs mm. that have come through, we're actually able to um, discuss your skills and market you into that employer. So um, there's, you know, there's, there's the advantage oh, for you. Oh, well, that's a huge the, advantage. That's, yeah. That's... A lot of these jobs, there's, you know, 200 people applying for. So. Um, oh, okay. You, you know, yeah. and to stand out from uh, submitting online makes it super hard, but we can, we can do that for you. We're your advocates. Jane yeah, and I, so, okay. yeah, yeah so, oh my gosh, well, that's huge because yeah, you don't want to be in the pile and yeah, you don't know anybody and it's a different country. And so this is why it's great. Okay, cool. So definitely work with working in, they can get you sorted. They can be your advocates. They have the relationships with the employers. It's a win-win for everybody. We make it easy for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> make it really easy. And just like, yeah, you just, you, you don't know what you don't know you know, at the end of the day. So like, you don't know what you need. And, you know, you think, and this, I mean, like I said, in the beginning, this is what I keep saying. People just are moving along in the understanding that they have in the American thinking that they have. And it's, yeah, this it's sometimes it doesn't work. Um, often yes. it doesn't work. <laughs> and so people are not even looking at their, you know, CVs because they don't even know if they could even move there. So there's just a lot to it. And so um, this is why the partnership makes sense. So Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. It was great. Oh, it has been a pleasure, <laughs> absolute pleasure. And we look forward to helping um, as many that who want to make the, the journey over here as you did, Tara. Um, it's yep. an exciting time. There's lots to think of, lots to do. So um, obviously Tara and I are here to help. Yeah, Can't no, wait. that's great. So yeah, definitely comment your questions or anything, anything you'd like to know about if we were happy to do this again, if there's something that you're like, okay, like we totally need you to talk about this. We can do that. Um, uh, whatever is helpful because we're just here to help the journey because I just, you know, I created this community because I just wish I would have had it, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just really helpful to have you know, you just don't know what you don't know. And like every time I talk with working in and the different departments and the different services that they have set up, I'm always like, oh, okay, that would have been really nice, <laughs> you know, going into it just, and I've done it twice. Like I've literally moved across the world four times, sold all my stuff. So I know how to do certain things really well. And still like, uh, yeah, like their whole relocation services is great. Their whole visa process is great. It's just, mm. so it's, it's, it's what you need. Trust me. So I've done it. I've done it the other way <laughs> and I got there, but like, you know, you don't realize how hard it is for you. You don't realize, you don't realize what you don't know. And in New Zealand, even being in a small place to not understand the work culture, to not understand some of those key things, um, are, isn't great. You know, um, you can unfortunately burn bridges right away and then that's not good. You know what I mean? So like you just need to understand what you're walking into and it's not, it's not that vastly different or anything, but it is at the same time, there is some huge differences and it's just really helpful to know that. So anyway, I can just keep talking. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that people can get there. Um, I've been talking with a lot of nurses, so, um, Fantastic. Yeah. And they're so excited. Oh, I can't wait to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's great. I mean, just flooding in, like, I don't know, there's just seems to be a big interest um, yes. right now for New Zealand. So that's great. Well, we're All excited. Right, cool. We'd love Lovely to have, to have you on here. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye.